In the early morning of December 14th, a day after heavy winter storms brought much-needed rain to cisterns in the village of Hasem ad in the South Hebron Hills, five bulldozers accompanied by army personnel arrived and demolished 11 cisterns. Some of them were more than 70 years old. The 11 cisterns were the only source of drinking water for some residents of the village and their herds of sheep and goats. In destroying the cisterns, bulldozers broke holes in the cement sides, spilling the precious water into the desert sand. Now we see the water is falling down. Uh, uh, we see now the water is, is moving outside from the cistern water. It's very bad. And then breaking the ceiling, causing large cement fragments to fall into the water reservoir. The largest cistern was built by the family of Mahmoud Marzouk Hadalin in 1944 and contained hundreds of cubic meters of water which flowed to it from desert canals. Bulldozers filled it with rocks and debris, rendering it useless. Mahmoud said that the demolition orders were not delivered personally but left under stones near the cistern where no one saw them. The 16 families that had been served by this cistern were left without access to water in this desert region.